When you're thinking of buying a double cab pickup, uh, your needs might be having a vehicle that is versatile. Number one, a vehicle that can haul some luggage, a vehicle that you can use to carry your family around, and a vehicle that looks decent enough to show up for those business meetings and even social gatherings, a car that has class. Uh, but there's one more thing. When you have such a vehicle, the reins or harsh terrain does not need to limit your movement because it's a car that should give you confidence. That is why we are testing out this dual car pickup and see if it ticks all the boxes and if it will give you that confidence off-road. Very easy, very easy. I'm going to be a little bit of a As you guys know, at Conversations, part of our goal is to give you good information, uh, test the machines to their limits, and uh, the most important rule, have fun. So with the reins and a double cup pickup, which has a four-wheel drive, the best way was to head for the hills and uh, test what the car could do. It is at this point that me and Bugwa realized that we are out to work courtesy of Mr. Eric Wokapi. Uh, part of the reason why we were stuck was not as Ibrahim portrays me to be the bongisa of back then. But at that time, there were a few issues. First of all, we had the wrong tires. It was like uh, showing up in sneakers uh, in Kinangop. Anyway, uh, other reasons were we had realized that in the morning, smoke was following Ibrahim. So he would have carried some bad luck into the car. But anyway... Uh, it was time for them to work. And our wasemavi or wahenga, ama or should I say, like we used to write our inches, wahenga na wahunguzi, hawaku tupaka mafuta kwa mgongo wa chupa, waliponena, mtaka chambunguni sharti ainame, and Bugwa and Ibrahim did inama as well. It turns out that Mbugwa and Ibrahim are weaklings and Ibrahim was being a bad example to the otherwise thought to be strong lawyers. Well, Mbugwa, we can understand. Waru. However, some locals showed up and pulled us out of the mud. And yes, it was time to have a victory dance. Let's talk about double cab pickup. They are cars that are very versatile. They can serve as family vehicles, commercial vehicles. Uh, they are capable of roaders and also uh, they can be used to show up for your business meetings because they have that aspect of class and style. Well, today we are privileged to have one of uh, the main competitors in the double cab market in Kenya today, and that is the new Mitsubishi L200. We 
we're going to have an up close and candid review of this vehicle take it for some uh, you know flex it a bit on the mud because the rains have come and we are about to have fun with this double cab let's see what is it able to do what powers up this vehicle is it comfortable because for a double cab you need to have that sense of versatility comfort for family use and also on road use because most of roaders are quite uncomfortable on road. Well, uh, Simba Cop claimed that the new L200 is the perfect blend of anything you would want to look for in a double cab pickup. Well, we are about to find out uh, because Conversations is that channel that will guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience. Now, if you see me with the orange hoodie, gumboots and a black trouser, we are about to have fun. But before then, let's see uh, what uh, makes up the new L200. And remember, uh, we have our new interactive website, www.conversations.africa. And very soon, you're going to access brand new zero mileage cars on that website. Because I'm going to tell you a few things. Eh? Why are we talking about brand new cars on conversations.africa? It is because their price range is slowly coming to rival those of uh, Mitumbas or foreign used cars. Now, let's talk about the L200. And remember, for you to be able to find some of these, you know, fun-filled episodes, uh, please subscribe to the channel and also like the video. I'll be your host, Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK, and I'm about to dissect this vehicle. Well, let's talk about the Prima Feishi, the first impression when you look at the new L200. We can all agree that it's very trendy. Uh, Mitsubishi's new dynamic shield design language, this is what we have on the L200. Well, it brings up the essence of style and class, but now it makes it very special on the pickup because it's a rugged vehicle that uh, you can show up in a business meeting or in a social gathering because it's sleek. You can see the headlights and the fog lights and they, they make it look like a very, very exotic, very classy, very elegant and very sporty vehicle. This particular trim level is the Sportero. Yes, and I'm going to tell you more about it and how you identify a basic uh, version from a Sportero and also what are the unique selling points of this car. Before we talk about the engine, where is the L200 coming in to fight the battle and how good will it be compared to the rivals? So which are these rivals? Number one, we have the Toyota Hilux. Number two, we have the Isuzu D-Max. Number three, we have the new Nissan Navara. Number four, we have uh, the Mazda BT50, which is basically an Isuzu D-Max. Uh, before, before, before 2020, it was a Ford Ranger, but after 2020, it's an Isuzu D-Max. Uh, the other one is the new Peugeot Landstrek, but the Peugeot Landstrek is a Chinese Kaizen F70. We'll talk about that some other day. Uh, other double cabs that uh, might be coming in soon are like the Haval. So it's it's a market that is uh, st that has stiff competition. And the L200 has come in with some sense of versatility. Number one, in terms of looks. The most unique selling point about this car is not only about reliability and fuel economy, the price point. And now the second one, the fuel economy. And I'll talk about the fuel economy as I tell you what powers up this car and why is it so economical. The earlier generations of the L200 came with the 4M40, 4D56, but now the new L200 comes with a new more economical engine and that is the 4N15. It's a 2.4 litre four-cylinder uh, turbocharged engine eh? and uh, it boasts of very good fuel economy because it can push around 16 kilometres to the litre when we come to fuel economy. What about the power figures? This engine is quite powerful compared to what is in the market because it can churn out around 170 horsepower and 430 newton metres of torque. Now what is the other special thing about this engine. Remember, uh, in, the, in our past episodes and uh, our episodes of Monday Night Live, we have talked about the diesel issue in Kenya. And uh, most people ask, why, why are these diesel issues mostly on uh, passenger cars? Well, this engine, it's a Euro 4 rated engine, meaning it has better fuel economy and better emissions. Well, uh, irrespective of that, uh, it, you know, it, it, your, our fuel mostly is rated at Euro 4, our diesel. So this engine can 
can tolerate euro for fuel. Uh, the other thing, uh, apart from now, <laughs> the fuel economy is that it does not have it's not so complicated to start giving you issues for instance uh doesn't have uh, dpf and you know dpfs are quite problematic in the kenyan market space well the l200 can come in in different engines uh in different markets but now we are going to be specific on what you find in kenya so you'll have the 2.4 liter for N15. However, in the other markets, the L200 is not only called the L200. Uh, mostly in the UK and uh, the Australia, they call it the Mitsubishi Triton, and it might feature other engines with different power figures as well. Well, when you get the Kenyan spec L200, uh, power is transmitted to the wheels through a six speed manual transmission and uh, the six-speed manual transmission also enhances fuel economy because the you know the higher the gears plus the power in the engine will make sure that you're not pushing the throttle too hard so you will get power at very low rpms because you get a variable geometry turbo uh, it's not a fixed one so you have all the low end torque you need so the fuel economy part is also you know boosted by that because the throttle is you're not very heavy on the throttle what about those people who like the automatic transmission uh, people who do not want the hassle of shifting gears well you can also get an auto version from simba Corp as well the other thing that makes the l200 uh, sportero edition uh, very unique is that it comes with alloy rims as standard not comes with alloy rims as standard yes so for that price and getting all these options as standard you know it, it, it's 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 value for money now suspension and handling uh the the l200 does handle well because it has a rack and pinion uh, steering plus also a double wishbone suspension at the front well it's a very long pickup and that you know that guarantees comfort on the second row of seats you also get very trendy side steps because the clearance is uh, is sufficient for a double cab and uh, you will need the side steps to you know to board the car on the rear we have leaf spring suspension uh, and also you see the clearance is you know, very superb plus talking about its length when you're buying a double cab, you need versatility. You need good uh, luggage carrying capacity. So you get ample luggage space on the L200. It's bigger than most double cabs in the market today. And uh, that, that, give, that makes it go a step higher. So let's just do a recap. What are some of the unique selling points of this vehicle before we go to the interior? Number one are the looks. It's very trendy. Number two is the price point. Number three is the fuel economy. And number four is the comfort. And we are going to talk about the comfort once um, in the car. Inside uh, the new L200, uh, there is, uh, you know, it's, it's not, it's a bit simple. It's, in fact, it's very, very, very simple with uh, all the controls very conveniently placed. It has a very simple radio, but, uh, you know, if you get the highest stream level of this, you might get a, a better radio. This one has um, aux, it has, <laughs> you can play music through the USB and also you have FM. And uh, for those of you who still keep CDs, it has a CD player. Well, uh, the, ge the gear lever is here, but one unique thing about it is how you shift to reverse. Well, other cars have, you know, splitters, uh, but this one, just like the Ford Ranger, uh, if you're shifting to number one, you have to push the shift up down, then reverse. Yeah, so you don't split upwards, push it down, then reverse. So that's one. What, so those are some of the things that you might go take a test drive and you end up being very embarrassed because of borrowing your friend's L200. Now, if you need four-wheel drive, you can um, change the driving modes or the four-wheel drive modes through the, this knob over here. You can shift it from uh, too high to four high to four low. So it's, it's, it's a very simple knob right here one thing that you might note about the l200 is it doesn't have a diff lock so that's a significant thing that you also need to know well the mirrors they do not retract but you can adjust them electronically but uh, this vehicle is designed to be you know 
convenient but uh, one thing we have to talk about when we are taking this car for a drive with the boys is the comfort because i can argue between so many other four wheel drives this one is very very comfortable both on road and off road Mbukwa, yes. just before, because, because Ibrahim might run away. <laughs> Lock those doors. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> so, yes. is there anything much to talk about? No. Yeah. Only that it's a comfortable double cab. Yes. Very comfortable. Ooh. So we are going to test two things. Yes. We are going to feel how it's going to be used in the area that you only know how. Yes. And then we'll also feel it on the on road when we are relaxed. Okay. So for now, uh, After the small challenge, yes, you guys better strap on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's see what this girl has to offer. Okay, yeah. you want to see what the girl has to offer? Yes. Let me take you boys for a spin. Uh, uh, Ibra. Ibra. Yes. You claim you love fast Mercedes Benzes. Yes. Hey, 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 hey! Come pole, come pole. Be good, be good, be good. Be good. Yes. Do we do this? We do this, but I know I'm gonna see. The funny <laughs> thing is, uh -huh. this guy is so comfortable. It is very comfortable for off road. Yes. Okay. 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 What is wrong with you people? <laughs> eh? Hey! 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 Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Almost made a mistake there. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's so awesome, man. Eh? Ibrahim to eat a mamayake. Yes. This is very awesome. Very awesome. <laughs> Very awesome, Okazu. Very awesome. Whoa, kill him! Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with some people? What is wrong with some people? What is wrong with some people? Oh. 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 How this guy's comfortable? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, stop here. Yeah. Stop. 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 Okay, I'm stopping. Stop the car. 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 Hakuna body roll. It is not making me feel scared. Scared, yeah. That's one unique thing about this car. Mm -hmm. But it's very really really exciting. It's very exciting. It's thrilling. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it's all right. Yes. Uh, this is a very nice car. Uh -huh. This off-road matic confirmed. The L200. Uh -huh. Will say any spec gun? In Spotero. Bite. We Hi. have nothing to say about 20 it. 200. 200. Let's go feel how this car drives. Okay, you are mad. I swear, I am not driving in the car with you guys again. I am not. Stop the car. I am. I am going car. You want. You want to. A husband of of one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. 
There is a mad person here <laughs> called Eric Wokabi. Eric Wokabi. <laughs> Uh, finally guys i hope meacha ku, kupumua yes <coughs> kupumua kwa njia ya hey. what do they call it wasiwasi mshtuko wa roho yes uh, so me, now tuko kwa on road on road the on road experience on the L200 yes one ja, you know one of the few places or the many places where the L200 really shines yes is comfort that is correct comfort com, comfort and stability Imagine you maneno yote tumefanya and the car is still and the car smooth is still like butter and we did not roll yes <laughs> underline that one <laughs> <We did not laughs> roll. I must say it's a comfortable car okay? it feels good it mm-hmm. feels very nice i do not know what is going on with the suspension yes but it feels very good to be in this car the, the, the rear tires eh? yes uh it mbugwa can show them on the go- did you see the wheel articulation the yes. suspension oh. So the, the suspension is very well. In fact, it's superb. I don't think there is any other double cab yes. that has that that much of wheel articulation that is not transferred to the cabin. So I saw kuna iko na leaf spring and then there is these dampers yes, connected the, to it again. To the leaf spring, yeah. Awesome stuff. So, ingekuwa ni gari ingine unaona venye tire inaenda hivi hapo kwa kwa hiyo video. Yes. Imagine that in the cabin. Most of the time tungekuwa juu ya hewa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah jumping up and down. You would be jumping up and down like in the samurai. Yes. Ah, samurai, <laughs> samurai was tough. Samurai was was very tough. Mm, it was very really, I love it. Hata kuna very nice you know small sparks here of kidong kidogo design cues mzuri wa kabi. Eh kama unaona hii hapa ni plastic shine mzuri. Unajua review hizi shakazi ongelea hiyo plastic. Itakuwa makosa it will be a disservice to my ancestors. Umeona aka shiny thing hapa kwa mkono hapa mahali unainulia kio. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, One thing I love about it again of Kabi, ni mahali ya kuweka chupa. You know the bottle holder. Yes. You can put there the biggest very bottle. Big, yeah. uh, it accommodates very well. Sijui mbugua na feel aje huko nyumba for me. I am okay. Yeah behind. They are behind. Hata hii plastic ni ya kulast 100 years. Wait, <laughs> it's very good quality. Yeah, very good quality and rigid uh, plastic which is very awesome. Mbugua there behind. So here behind one I can I can okay I can agree with both of you about the wheel the the comfort about the suspension cuz I was the one who was sitting here behind and literally <laughs> I didn't I didn't even come off my seat like I was glued to my seat because of the you know the suspension. The, the suspension yes the other thing it has a quite less leg room unaenda nayo safari refu headroom quite fine for a tall person I mean it's 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 a comfort car. Can, no, no. Can Ibrahim sit there? Ah, what's up? Sit there. You can even yes, I think I can sit there. I think I can sit there. I can fit there. But I'm going to leave you in for 10 men bugo. Ah, in for 10 men bana. Rigid <laughs> and to the point. To the point. Asuna maneno mingi. USB meko hapa chini. Na hapa katikati ni radio na bus auxiliary kwa hapo kama unataka uh-huh. kuna mambo mengine iko na repeat button na CD i mean these are workhorse where do you need even compact any? disc cc compact compact disc. <laughs> yes. be specific yes But to be honest <laughs> yes. these are workhorse where do you even need that that screen at what point do you be using it na ma- the music quality is very, very, very good, good. hewa iko nayo yeah. the ear yeah, the ear is there yes. you remember even the how uh, you remember even how the mahindra had a quite good same infotainment style it was rigid We need to go do value for money now. Yeah, let's After let's shaking do. our stomach upside down. You mm. guys must be hungry. Ah, well, you know what? You got to be born. You need to be a good person. Bana hata chakula tumekula hivi. Hata tunjai na tuuma. Eh? We should do more of this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we should do more of this. Yes. I think we should bring now D-Max now. D-Max. Oh, get oh, more double cups. What work on my double cups? Bring Hilux. them here. Bring them This here. is where they are tested and verified. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unless they get here, yeah, you, they, you will not know. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now you could not uh, do, yeah. kama tungefanya hivyo tungejua comfort here. This could not even hata tujavunja kitu. Hata tujavunja kitu. I was expecting, you know, whenever we test and I'm not scaring manufacturers, yeah. we break a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> In the process of testing. Yes, we break something a thing. must give. Yes. But we are this one was built right. It was built Not, tough. Nothing has 
pia, has given way. Unajua funny thing pia nini haiku haiku break any yeah, yeah, the mind the mind. The mind. Yes. And and we appreciate Simba Cop for trusting us with their cars. By the way, no one from Simba Cop wako na sisi wametupatia gari. Tuende. Wamesema hawa wanangoja kuona video na watu wanunue gari. This is a car that we have tested, verified and confirmed. By the way, from oh P- away from PR yes, yes. I don't think there is any other manufacturer. Mm-hmm. By the way, gari to Libali to Patia because mm-hmm. it's uh, they wanted us to have a feel after to meanza yo easy series ya double car. Yes, yes. And this one was purely go and be honest about the vehicle. Yeah. Test it to the limits. Yes. Fanyeni ile kitu mnataka kuona kama hii gari iko worth. And we've really done that. And we have really done that. And hawananga uh, maneno mingi. So ukisikia manufacturer anasema no 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 do not drive it off road. Yeah. Just just review it along the road. Yes. <laughs> ah no, we don't do those. There's only one test that is remaining. Yes. 0 to 100. 0 to 100. We will do it regardless. Let me get myself into the mode of 0 to 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ready Okabi? Yes, I'm ready. You ready Okabi? Yes. 1 2 3 go. Yes. It's a diesel so flat yes. spotting. It's 100 so, 14 seconds. So 14 seconds. 14 seconds. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Eh? Find a value for money. Value for money. Value for money. Let's do value for money. Let's talk about the most important segment and that is value for money. Why would you buy a Mitsubishi L200? Number one, it is a it, it looks the part. Number two, it's very fuel economical uh, compared to what is in the market. Number three, it's also very affordable compared to what is in the market and other competing uh, dual cab youths or dual cab pickups. Uh, the other thing is that, uh, well, it's an all-round double cab. Whether you're going on-road or off-road, you will be having, you know, the confidence you need. It's a car you can use for your family for your commercial needs and also to show up for your business meetings or even social gatherings because it's a very stylish vehicle and also during the rains like right now it will not it will still give you the confidence to go off road however disclaimer if you're taking this car in the mud or this vehicle in the mud make sure you have mud terrain tires sawa sawa tires play a very big role in a vehicle's muddy or mud capabilities in the other also in sand and rocks you need good tires so if you're running street tires in the mud you might easily get disappointed in any off-road vehicle sawa sawa so it is a vehicle that is that presents value for money because it's going for around 5.4 million uh, and you can call Austin from Simba Corp and uh, ask him more about this vehicle or even you can visit Uh, Simba Cop you can get discounts if you say you've been sent by conversations sawa sawa and uh, w- the reasons why we bring these cars to where we bring them do whatever we do to what we do to them is because we like bringing you cars that we have tried and tested sawa sawa so do tell us what do you think about the L200 compared to other dual cabs or double cabs in the Kenyan market Tell us in the comments. I've been your host, the Canvasologist himself, Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK. You follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, we value your feedback. Tell us which other double cab do you want to see on uh, Canvasations. Tell us on our social media handles, uh, Canvas, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Till next time, uh, have fun, be safe, and let us have some more fun with the L200.